Hey guys, Terry here. Um, I just learned something new. Um, I, a lot of times on the Cricut, we're trying to find um, a font that we like, and there's various different ways. Sometimes I open up uh, Word and I'll type in my Word, and then I'll try all the different fonts and see what it looks like. But I just found out about this website called wordmark.it. So you type that in the browser, and then you get this welcome message, and then you type in your text message. And you press enter, it says down at the bottom, press enter once you type your words in. And then this will look at all the different fonts that are on your computer, the ones that you have installed. And then it goes a step further, and you can kind of click on the ones that you like. So let's say we're looking for something that's like a, um, some scripty, pretty font. Like let's say we like this one, and then it'll say, okay, click the filter. There's a filter over in the far right corner. You can't see it because of the sunshine, but um, there's a filter there that says, let me find other ones that look like this. So let's just pick a few. So I've picked three, and then I say filter the selected ones. And there's just a bunch of options you can do with this. You can save the image. I saw one person, um, and notice it tells you what the font is right here. But you could save that image, and then you could bring that into Cricut Design Space and have it, um, like this one over here, has a weld on it, this one over here on the far right hand side. Um, you can download that image and then bring that into uh, your Cricut Design Space and then have it either write or cut that. So I just found out about it and I thought it was really fascinating. So it's called wordmark.it and on my blog post I'll have a link to it. Um, but it lets you just type in the words and then see all the fonts that are on your computer. So. I just learned about it and I'll um, do some more updates as I learn more about it. But I thought this was just super, super handy. Just a quick way to type in something and then see what the fonts are, um, what they would look like in the different fonts on your computer. So I hope this uh, taught you something new. I'm still learning and I like sharing with you. So subscribe to see other tips like this. Thanks guys.